Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've done an update. I'm overdue. So I thought I'd update you guys on what's happening in my garden. Um, today I actually harvested a bunch of radishes. So let me show you that real quick. I just harvested some more radishes. Got the purple plum. And I got the saxatoo. I'm excited. I bought some hummus the other day. So I'm going to dip those in there as snacks this week. Maybe give some away to my in-laws. Turned out pretty good. Here's a look at some of my tomatoes. They are really struggling right now because we have had really hot days up to 100 degrees. And then on top of that yesterday we had a ton of wind. This wind was crazy. I didn't even look at how you know, many miles per hour it was, but it was really, really crazy. Like I felt like it was a hurricane in our state. It was so weird. And we're in the Midwest. Well, you know, middle of the U S. So it was just, it was just kind of crazy. But anyway, um, this is my brandy wine red. I do have a couple tomatoes on this one. Um, and this one's not doing as bad as the others. This is my jet star and this poor thing, just look at it. It looks so pitiful. But um, I do have some tomatoes growing on it. Hopefully it'll recover. This weather's starting to kind of cool off just a little bit. Um, my basil's looking a lot better. Look at that. I cannot wait to make pesto with that. Um, and I started this, I propagated it from another jet star plant. So let me show you how I did that. So I wanted to do a quick video on how to propagate some suckers from tomato plants so that you could try to make a new plant. Um, I've done this a couple times over the past four years or so. And you could do it a couple different ways, um, but first of all, you need to kind of know um, where you get it from, from the tomato, and that's from the sucker. So I'm going to explain what that is. So the sucker, okay, so on the main stem of the tomato plant, like this one for example, this is like the main stem right here, this big stem. And then in between that stem and a branch that comes out, you'll have this little guy that but that comes up and that's a sucker. So in between there. So it's actually good to prune those off um, if you want to have a good um, fruiting tomato plant. Um, but I like to let a couple of them go, um, but most of the time I do prune them. But um, if you wanna propagate them, I would wait till these get just a little bit bigger and I'll show you what I did with mine. Okay, so what I did is I took one of the suckers from my Jetstar tomatoes and I just put it in some water um, in the window and these roots came out of it. I put another one in there for my cherry tomato plant and I'm waiting for those roots. Um, so this is how I did it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these to, uh, this little tomato sucker with the roots in the ground and it will hopefully become a new tomato plant for me. Okay so I dug a little hole right here in my raised bed and I'm going to go ahead and take my tomato plant that I rooted just like that and I'm just going to stick them right in. And then you want to try to bury the stem as much as possible um, because that's where the roots will grow. So I'm going to cover that up. Okay, so I covered the roots up with some dirt, and now I'm just gonna water it in a little bit with my watering can, just so that those roots can get used to being in the soil now. So that's it, that's really all you have to do, and hopefully this little guy will grow into a whole new tomato plant for me. So free plants, that's always exciting. <laughs> And another way you could do it is you could just put the sucker straight into the ground. Um, I've had kind of more trouble with that uh, way of doing it, but others have had no issues doing that. So you could also do that, but just make sure probably to keep it moist, I would think, until the roots develop well. So that's it. That's how you can propagate your tomato plants so you can get more. And there's still a lot of um, days left in the growing season, so I'm hoping I'll get something good out of these, this little Jetstar sucker. 
Um, here's more of my tomatoes. This is my black creme one. You can tell. Look at the poor leaves. Look at that. Super hot weather, really windy. That's got to be what's going on there. Plus, before all that, we had like a bunch of rain um, a couple weeks ago. So that had something to do with it too. Um, this is my, I think this is my Thai dragon pepper plant. It's looking pretty good. Getting some blooms on there. And my habanero plant is doing so much better than it did a couple weeks ago. So much better. I planted another one just in case. <laughs> That's one of my jet star plants. Tomato setting on, more blooms. My Cherokee purple. One of my subscribers pointed this out to me. This one is supposed to be a Brandywine Black, but it does not have the foliage of a Brandywine. So I'm thinking maybe they got it mixed up at the nursery. I think it looks very similar to my Cherokee Purple plants. So we will soon find out what these guys actually are. <laughs> right now, it's a mystery. There's another Cherokee Purple plant. Poor tomatoes, just look at these. Look at that, ugh. But lots of tomatoes on there right now, thank goodness. My jalapeno plant with blooms. That is my mortgage lifter. That one's not looking as horrible as the others, thank goodness. I'm getting a lot of tomatoes on this one. It's really starting to, starting to set on, which is great. And then that was the brandy wine again. Take a look at this cilantro going to seed. This is just insane. Look how many seeds I'm gonna get off of this thing. It's so crazy. I'm sure it'll reseed itself for the fall, which is perfect. Um, but yeah, my dogs are going crazy. Pippin! Uh, and getting in the bed. Get out. Oscar's trying to protect us by constantly barking. These are my cucumbers. They're finally getting bigger. That one's an Armenian cucumber. And those are the Market More 76. This is a watermelon plant. And then my zinnias here. I can't remember which ones I did here. They're either like the candy stripe one or they're, or they're another variety. The heavy winds last night really did a number on my corn. They are falling over. So I'm trying to find ways to stake them up, but I've got to do more as you can see. Um, so I'll be working on that tonight. My poor corn. Um, I do have some okra. Pests have been trying to get to it, but it is looking way better than it did. Got some baby ones finally coming back up again. I've been having struggles this year with my okra. I don't really know what the deal is. I've grown them before in the ground and had no issues, so I don't really know um, if it's because it's in the bed or what. It's just kind of crazy. Got some cosmos, rosemary, more rosemary over there, sunflower. I believe this is the Mexican sunflower. I think that's where I planted it over here anyway. <laughs> this is my cherry tomato plant. This was looking so beautiful and healthy until the wind yesterday. And now it just looks kind of sad. So I'm hoping it'll recover. But I do have tomatoes on it. Look at those guys. We're going to have a caprese before we know it. My husband will be super excited about that. There's the orange jean okra, another one that's kind of looking pitiful. Look at these tiny little baby basils. It's purple opal, sweet basil. These are some cucumbers, early fortune, some beans that are hopefully going to run up this cage. Some green beans over there, hoping more are trying to pop up because I had to plant some more. Another row of zinnias that are getting eaten up by something, so I'm going to have to do something about that. These are my potatoes in the container. Getting bushier and bushier every day. It looks like, I was looking at these today, I'm wondering if these will be flowers. 
My carrots are getting bigger. Again, over here I have St. Valerie carrots and I have Parisian carrots. Looking forward to those. They still got some time. My beets. I have beets, or I'm sorry, the bull's blood beets, which are the, the redder looking ones. And then the um, Detroit red beets. They're still growing. They still need time too. They're looking pretty good so far. And then onions, which um, I've never grown onions before, so I think I need to do a little bit more researching on taking care of these guys. Um, Pippin getting in the bed again. Pippin, get out. Um, this is my kale. I have scarlet kale and I have dinosaur kale. And I also have my purple bok choy under the uh, under this some somewhat of a net. It's not a net. It's actually tool that I bought from the fabric store. And I got this idea from Kay, the late bloomer. I thought it was a great idea. It's a cheaper option of trying to cover your plants. So I'm trying to keep basically the cabbage worms away. And I think I'm succeeding so far, but there is something that's eating my kale. I can't really tell you what, but I have not seen any cabbage worms on here. So it must be something else. <laughs> but um, I'm excited because it's getting bigger and looking real good. These are my lettuces. Um, I've been pulling radishes out of here. I pulled a whole bunch last week, some French breakfast radishes and some other ones. Um, just a mix of different lettuces in here and they're actually doing pretty good here in the shade, the afternoon shade over here. Um, and I've been picking it every morning so that for lunch I can have a salad. Got little baby greens there. Those ones are kind of struggling a bit. Um, and then that's my pink mizuna, which I thought about thinning out a little bit, but yeah. Here I started some things from seed. I was tired of my okra plants getting snatched up by the birds every time one pops up out of the garden direct sowed. So I just started, decided to just try, uh, try to start some in a pot, see if I can kind of protect it till it gets bigger. So I did that um, with the Clemson spineless and the orange jean. And then I also started some squash in containers. And I'm going to try to protect those the best I can. And I am going to try to attempt to cover these uh, squash plants this year. Um, because I always have vine borers. It never fails. And so I'm going to see if that actually helps. <laughs> well, guys, that's really about it right now. Um, so I'll keep you updated. And when I have harvests and whatnot, I'll definitely share them on the channel. So please, if you're first coming to this channel, then please like and subscribe. Um, I would appreciate it so much. And it's just my little journey learning to garden. And I learn every year. And my garden is building every year. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. And everyone stay safe. I know that some of the cases of coronavirus are going up in some areas that are opening up. I know here in our town that it's slowly starting to trend back up again. So please stay safe. Be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. And um, anyway, um, I can't wait to hear from y'all. I hope y'all are doing okay. Bye.